Okay, so this is another video on the progress for the Hasbro 29-inch Millennium Falcon. And um, what you're looking at right here is the uh, top side of the Falcon, so the undercarriage of the top side here. And I'll talk about a couple of things here um, for some of the assembly with the lighting and the electrical, which I'm going to be displaying in this video uh, from a demonstration perspective of I'm just doing some position testing and just see how things come together. So let's, let's get a quick overview and get our bearings here. The cockpit has been placed in here, and I went ahead and did something which I think is going to work out really, really nice, and you'll see that in the end result is going to be I put in this back LED light over here, which is very bright, and it's going to illuminate all the vacant pinholes that were there. So I do have the color uh, fiber optic, as I was saying in a previous video, uh, going through and filling in some of those uh, holes, but then the uh, leftover holes will be filled in by this bright, bright LED, and it's going to look really, really nice. Now, the other thing I did um, is I also put a piece of um, this frosted, uh, got this at Hobby Lobby for nothing, like probably five, six bucks or something like this, frosted plastic, and uh, cut a square over here, threw that in there. And then one thing that was hugely beneficial in the electrical process, and I wish I did this on the bottom, um, but what I ended, ended up doing was, and I originally did this for the sides over here, to connect, I got these um, male-female uh, pins and I drilled some holes in the sides and uh, I used that to connect the power to the top. So the um, the bottom has the battery in it and then when I put the cases back on top of one another I use these male-females to run the power from the bottom battery side to the top here. I actually ended up using a bunch of these in here. So what I did was I made a wire and then I connected a bunch of these guys to them and it was so much easier just to connect all the wiring in here with these rather than soldering pieces on and so on and so forth so I was able to do the soldering outside of the Falcon put these pieces on labeled what they were and then you can see how simple they are they just connect like that so when I put the cabin in I just plug it into the power source like like that and I'm good to go I did the same thing for the turret and I have a couple other plugs that I'm going to be doing here. I did one from for this uh, this piece over here, so you can see it was really, really easy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this going, move it over, and then we'll take a look at what the, uh, the basic assembly looks like um, with the, the cabin, and we'll test that. All right, so now we have the, um, the lighting test here, and um, I'll go through just a couple of components and just give you a quick view. Uh, there's the top turret here. And um, you can see that that's, that's nicely lit. Uh, I like the results. It's just a little bit subtle. There's some uh, detail with the fiber optics in the, uh, the lighting control panels and whatnot. And then, of course, the frosted background just gives it a little bit of backlight coming through. Uh, and then I also have now the cabin, which is just this is a temporary uh, solution. Um, I'm just doing, the, like I said, the position testing. I don't have the, the figures in there yet or the seats. Um, but I'm really pleased with the way the lighting turned out. Now this is probably a matter of taste, but one of the things that um, I've seen even in the lighting tests, and I'll bring that up on screen just so you can see it in the previous lighting tests, the fiber optics just looked too much like having a Christmas tree in the cabin. And what I like about that backlight that I put in, that white LED, that really hard white LED, not only is it giving me some um, light that's coming through in the places that are supposed to be white and filling in those pinholes that are empty, but it's also really subduing the, uh, the control panel lightings from the different LEDs. So I'm really thankful for that because, like I said, I just didn't want it to look like a Christmas tree in there. And now you kind of get a hint of color. Uh, but it's just not overbearing. It's just not taking over the uh, the entire cabin. So the next thing to show you will be the engines. Um, just what I have in there, uh, the way that it's been put in. I showed you that, I think, in the one of the earlier videos on the electrical. But just to turn it around and show you what they actually look like. This is not complete. Uh, obviously, the grill's not on. The engine nozzles need to go in as well. And I need to do the um, the frosting on top of those lights too, just so they get subdued just uh, a little bit and they're not so hard. I'm contemplating on keeping them white, um, just like they were in A New Hope. And uh, but there is, you know, there's the uh, the experimental blue to see if I can get something there. But it, you know what? At the end of the day, if finishing this means I could just keep them white and leave them the way they are, I'd be just as happy. So. Um, Thanks for watching and uh, watch the next video. I'll probably be wrapping that up hopefully soon.